you may be also looking for the answers like what is the difference between activated and non-activated windows what is the difference between oem keys and original retail keys so in this video i'm going to answer both questions and i will also tell you where from you can buy the cheapest windows keys so first what is the difference between activated and non-activated so here you can see i'm using this windows 11 which is not activated you can see here windows is not activated so that means you will not get any security update and any patches and any major update which is related to ui because you are not able to customize the ui so what you will do with that update so that's why microsoft do not push these update to unactivated windows another major thing is you are not secure from hackers they can get access to your pc very very easily because patches and security updates not in your system so definitely they are going to get access to your pc and you will not be secure from viruses i hope you understand what is the disadvantages of unactivated windows this is my fresh installed windows and this is not activated here so you can see it is saying activate now and the most important thing you will not be able to customize your windows windows 11 give you option to change the theme right here so whenever you go to color and changing accent color you can see you need to activate windows before you can personalize your pc so whatever you want to change like you want to change the icons of your taskbar you want to change the color of your taskbars accent color so these things are different disabled here and the other major things are like you are not secure from viruses hackers and no security update no major big updates so this is enough i hope you understand now the second question is what is the difference between oem keys and retail microsoft keys so this is an interesting question so oem keys and official retail microsoft key both are exactly same except if you have oem keys you will not get support from microsoft and that's why oem keys are very cheaper and people are using them another thing is related to OEM keys like OEM keys only for one system you cannot use that key in other laptop or other motherboard so this is only specific to one motherboard and one laptop so this is a disadvantage of this that's why it is cheaper right and retail keys have 20 time activation for different different system so these are the two points which is related to this OEM keys and retail keys so now the question arises where from I should buy this OEM keys so if you randomly buy OEM keys from any website and all these things so you will not get the original OEM OEM keys that means whenever you go to your system and activate your windows it will give you invalid key right so your money is going to waste so this is the thing you need to understand so we have this website here like keysfan.com which will also provide you 24 into 7 hours customer service so like if you are activating your windows and keys invalid you are going to get the complete refund or maybe you can get the different key and why I'm telling this because they are providing you 50% off on windows OS and Microsoft Office also like you can use this coupon code like JD50 you will get 50% discount here like you can see Windows 10 home key so it will cost you around $7 very cheaper from that $200 it is for lifetime right so this is the thing here and at the same time they have Microsoft Office 62% off here and they also have the combo keys like Windows 11 and Microsoft Office okay so it depends upon you which you want like I want to buy this uh, Windows 10 home key so click on this buy section and make sure you are going to copy this code because you need to apply otherwise it will show you $14 and all you can see here it is showing you $15 okay no issue just click here add to card view card and at the bottom here you can see apply discount code just paste this code here and apply discount after that you will see the price change here like $7.50 okay and click here proceed enter your email address here and uh, you can create your new account as well you can use your credit card you can use the paypal okay so select this paypal here and it will say you to log in and after that just do the payment you will get the key on your email id right and you can get it from this uh, activation reminder like activate windows again and again and you will get the watermark i hope you guys understand difference between all these two questions if you want to buy any key here you can check the description just click on that link you will directly navigate to this website and buy it whichever key you want.